this is um just showing you how easy it is to assemble the um, any any cubic cobra 3 combo it does have a user manual um, it does actually show you how to install the printer head um, that's pro all the cabling so it's, it's pretty straightforward very very easy to follow as well um, so for a complete newbie let's see how quick it is to actually assemble um, all the screws you've actually got for print head cable for touch screen uh, for purge wiper and for print head so you can't get the screws mixed up um, it also comes with all the tools you need so you've got your allen keys and of course you've got your spanners uh, right, so the first thing you need to do is connect the cables um, to the print head you can't get them mixed up because they need different connectors um, so the print head cable goes into there and then there's two little screws um, which you screw down in to keep the cable in so it says uh, for print head cable um, there's just two in there so I'll be using these to uh, keep the cable attached They actually feel quite tight when they go in. Right, so that's those two screws done. It's a bit fiddly, but they went in pretty easy. Right, so the next thing to do is to install the printhead onto the gantry. And you've got the, the motor there, and it sits in this V-shape. Like so, um, just turn around so you can. So, the screws you use for attaching the printhead onto the gantry this is four printhead, and there's four one there, one there, one there, and one there. These are a bit fiddly to get in. I'll just turn this around because I can't see what I'm doing. I'm not going to tighten them up yet just because I've got the other two to put on each side as well. So going to tighten them all up now, make sure they are secure. Right, so that's the print head put on. I think so far that's the fiddliest bit it's just trying to keep the screws in so next they recommend installing the screen um, and this is for touch screen and that goes on the side here just down. so that connects to there I'll take this tape off And you have a, a, a still 
plate holder um, and that just connects onto there. Turn this up a bit because it's a little bit awkward to get too light there. Well, once that's done, there's both of the screws in there. This is movable, so you can uh, then you just plug this in. It does actually say um, this side up, so obviously that's got to go up, so you can't plug this in wrong either. Right, so that's the screen installed. Well, next you've got to install the access X access cable, which is this one. Um, right, so. Connects under here, and it can only fit in one way. Also, next you install this line card, um, and there's a little slip there, so it slips into there from that. So that just sits on like so, and then. Your printhead cable's got that in it, and that just slips into that. Keeps your cables all tidy. Right, so the next thing to fit on is the purge wiper, which goes onto there with the little white markers, and you use the, the purge wiper screws. Okay, so this fits on, if you look at where the, the screw goes through, you've got two little lugs. You see them there and there and there's a little hole there so that top lug will fit into that small hole there So the other screw goes into that little hole there. So the next thing to do is to install um, the Ace Pro. Uh, so you're going to install all the Teflon tubes, which go at the top here. Move that up. So they go into here and then into the back of the Ace Pro. It does come with instructions, which are very easy to follow. So these tubes have lines on. Um, there's two little lines, I don't know if you can see them on the camera, but the tube needs to be pushed right down into the second line so it's flush for the top of this. So that's your tubes in. 
other side so in there you can just take these and push them through the, the card holder cable holder like that So you just make sure you've got enough cable up here for the print head to be able to move all the way to the far side um, without stretching them too much. That's cables. Put this one back in. And then you use these little cable tidies um, to keep the cables in place. Make sure that's going to work all right. And a bit more. Once you've done the top, you can put a couple of more, a couple of these on here as well. These then go into the back. Um, of the Ace Pro, so they're going to here on this one. It only inserts into the first black line, and those little blue things need to come off. And then you push the tube in and then put them back on again so don't lose them. So you just pull them off like that. Done that. Insert these into here. You can see them on. So they only go down to the first line. Not the second one, not the ones at the top. Also, put, to put these blue catches back on, just put that down a bit so you can see. You uh, just make sure that that little bridge thing's at the top, so you can pull it back off again if you need to. And put it in that way around so you just pull the cable out push the blue catch back into it There you go. Once I've done that, I'm going to put another one of these on. Alright, that's the cabling done. Also, to connect the Ace Pro box to 
to the printer use this cable um, you undo this and that connects into there and so that goes into the bottom one here there's another plug there which I think they, you can fix another Ace Pro box so you can use eight colours um, with this printer. Right, so under here at the back of the printer you need to make sure that it's set to the correct voltage. Um, we use 240 volts or 230 volts so mine's set, it's actually inside it tells you um, mine's just 230 which is the correct voltage setting. Right, you also get a single spool holder with this if you want to use it. Um, it. There's a little catch on the back here. And that slides into it. This goes on. So it, it just twists in like so. And then you just fit it down. It just pushes down. So you can have a single spool on there as well. Um, this has two main plugs. Um, so you also get two, two of the mains plugs like that. One goes into there and then into the plug socket. The other one will plug into there, which is down here where the on off switch is. Uh, so that's basically it set up. Um, so you need to take these out of the bed. Um, you do need to check your printer to make sure it's not wobbly um, and it runs smooth. If it wobbles when you shake it, there's a little nut at the back here where the wheel is. Um, you can adjust that using the spanners which come with it. It's the same for the bed. If it's wobbly, um, it's the same for the bed. If it's wobble, there's a nut under here. Um, which you can actually adjust um, to stop it from wobbling and the belts um, you obviously got the knobs here to adjust the belts and the one at the top here as well so these adjust the belts um, and the tension on the belts thank you for watching um, hopefully you enjoyed the video it was very easy to set up a few fiddly screws but apart from that very simple very easy um please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and keep an eye out for the next video